Welcome everybody into no off season. We are joined now by Auburn head coach, Gus Malzahn. Coach, thank you so much for joining us. First of all, how are you and the family doing right now? Yeah, doing good. Uh, really the positive. I'm getting a chance to spend a lot of time with my daughters, my two grandsons. That's been a lot of fun. Now, Christy's about had enough. She's ready for me to go back to work, but uh, it, it has been, uh, it's been fun to have some quality family time. Yeah, I love that. Um, I got to say, it's we've been experiencing that too. We recently had a really big fight over barbecue sauce. I'm wondering, have you guys had like a funny argument as a family that you look back and you're like, golly, why were we even fighting about that? <laughs> I, I tell you what, that there, it, that's been a, there's been one a day at least, uh, you know, about something silly about uh, who's getting the coffee or making the coffee or something like that. But, you know, it's just a get getting used to being – at home all day um, and kind of getting in a routine. Of course, you know, this is the fourth week that uh, that we've been doing this. So we're starting to get in, uh, you know, a little bit more of a routine, but it has been really good to, uh, you know, to, to be able to spend quality time with the family. You know, usually what happens is in the course of, uh, you know, the, the year, you have three weeks vacation. It usually takes about three, four or five days for me to kind of wind down and, and relax anyway and uh but it's really been good that uh to spend some quality time what does that routine look like right now coach with your team and communicating yeah. with your players when you're when you're able to yeah so we're having staff meetings on monday just like we would at 9 a.m just trying to keep everything as uh similar uh as if we were back at the office and then of course we're uh, having player meetings four times a week which is good to reconnect with your players and, and get them on zoom and a lot of times it's just good for them to see each other, you know, face to face on the computer and kind of interact. And and then, of course, we'll have a, a staff meeting on Friday and uh, recruiting and everything that goes with it. And, and I think, like I said, this is the fourth week. Uh, we're starting to get a routine Now we miss our players like crazy. That's the hardest thing, just not being able to be with your players every day. But, you know, as far as a staff and uh, our weekly routine and and then, of course, starting to uh, get into our first three opponents, breaking down our opponents, uh, breaking down our rivals, which we usually do in early summer anyway. Uh, but we've stayed we've stayed busy. And, and I think for the most part, our staff's been very efficient. Yeah, it's so interesting um, the way that you're talking about this. And, and I love that you said, you know, we're breaking down our first three opponents. We're doing the things that we would be doing right now without knowing when the season's going to start. How important is it? for you guys and for your players to have that optimism and normalcy right now? You know, we, we just talked about that Monday on our team meeting. Uh, I mean, we're going to be very positive. Um, you know, we're, we're really looking at everything positive that doom and gloom, we're putting that behind us. Um, you know, we're, we're excited. We hope to get our guys back in early summer and start getting a routine. Now we'll see, uh, you know, we're taking it week by week uh, just to see where everything's at. But as a staff, you know, we're getting ourselves ready where, you know, if we come back, able to come back June 1, we'll have a plan for that. If it's June 15th, if it's July 1st or July 15th. And really, that's as far as we've gotten. But as a staff, you know, we're just trying to uh, to plan to have our guys back and uh, really looking forward to getting our guys back and, and getting back to, to some kind of normal. Yeah, many coaches I've talked to have said that July 15th is kind of – you know, really getting into that territory where if you're going to start the season on time, you've got to be back in some way, shape or form by then, by mid-July. What's your thought on just how long it might take to get your guys ready for them to be in a good position to play this year? Yeah, the, the farthest we went as a staff is July 15th. And, uh, you know, until we get information, you know, we're not going to speculate or even look forward. But, you know, we've got a plan for June 1st, June 15th, July 1st and July 15th. And, so we really hadn't let our mind go past that. And uh, we're very hopeful that uh, you know we'll, we'll be back before them and not have to worry about that. Let's say it's July 15th. What does that plan look like that would certainly be accelerated at least at some level? Yeah, I think I think the big thing is just, you know, no matter what the date is, to get your guys back in, in shape, um, you know, because obviously they're all in different spots and uh, just getting our guys physically, mentally back in shape before you get to fall camp and, so, you know, we'll have a plan, uh, whether it's July 15th, July 1st, or even in June that, that we can do that. I mean, I think that's the first thing you got to look um, to have your guys in mental condition before they can get into fall camp. 
you've obviously got a great team that you're excited about for next season, but you will, of course, see a couple of your big-time D linemen depart for the NFL. Obviously, Derek Brown and Marlon Davidson. What have NFL teams called to ask you about about those guys? Well, you know, the, the, those are two of the best players in all of college football. And, uh, you know, I think you'll see that on draft day. But, uh, you know, those two particular, I mean, they're real football players. Uh, there's no negatives. They are super young men. Uh, they're both going to be successful for a long time in the NFL. And they're going to represent themselves in Auburn uh, the right way. Uh, you know, and, and I think there's a good chance, uh, you know, outside of those two that, uh, we'll have more players drafted uh, than we've ever had since they went to seven rounds. So there's a lot of excitement. Uh, there's some real football players, you know, that's going to go to the NFL from Auburn this year. I also want to ask you about Jarrett Sidham, Coach, because we'll see what happens with the Patriots. But right now he's their quarterback. And personally, I think he uh, was an excellent college football player and has an excellent chance at this next level. What about him do you think would allow him to succeed under Bill Belichick? Yeah, uh, Jarrett's got a lot of talent. Um, he is like a coach on the field. Um, you know, uh, the moment's not too big for him. I've said this before, you know, he's got the ability to play his best in the biggest games. And, of course, in 2017, when we went on that run late in the season, and I think it was Georgia number one, and then we turned around two weeks later and played Alabama, and they were number one. He played his best football. So I think he's in a very good system that really fits him. Uh, you know, and he's, he's just kind of waiting his moment. But, uh, you know, I've said this before, I expect him to be very successful and uh, wouldn't be surprised me at all that uh, he does a super job for him. Coach, what are your thoughts on potentially, if we get to this point, playing games without fans in the stadium? Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. I have not let my mind go there yet. I mean, I'm, I'm really looking at this thing as positive. Uh, I just really flipped the switch and tried to stay away from the doom and gloom and, and all that. And, and to be honest with you, I'm just taking it week by week. Uh, you hear all the people speculating the what ifs and all that. But I really think if we all just kind of step back, and take a deep breath, just take it week by week because things are changing and we're finding out new information. We're in a, a new day that, uh, it's unprecedented, and it seems like every day or at least every other day there's new information that comes out. So I'm just taking it week by week and, and really just trying to stay positive. Yeah, we've got, what, three months even until July, right? And that's when, <laughs> you know, hopefully we would be able to see the college football season start on time. So to your point, there is a lot of time here on everybody's yeah. side. That's right. Okay, Coach, what is something fun that you've been doing when you're not thinking about football or doing something related to football during this time? Oh, wow. Uh, you know, I'm spending a lot of time with recruits on phones, but uh, and also spending uh, some, some time with our players on the phone. And it's always good just to kind of hear from them one-on-one, -on -one and, and uh, that's been fun for me. Uh, besides that, it's probably more of you know, in the evenings, uh, getting a chance to, to watch some TV as a family or me and Christy, whether it's a documentary or a movie, uh, spend a little bit more quality time with that. What have you guys been watching? You know, I think one night she picks and the other night I pick. So it's just kind of kind of switch. It's hard to keep me off ESPN. OK, but uh, I'm, I'm doing a little bit better job than that. I mean, of course, I'm watching the replays, you know, the the Thursday night uh, national championship game, what was it, USC and Texas? I watched it like it was live. You know, I kind of enjoyed it. Christy didn't understand it, but but I enjoyed it. <laughs> She's like, why are you watching this? Now, listen, that was one of the best football games of all time. Oh, there's no doubt. Of course, you know, Gene Chizik, uh, you know, our former head coach when we won the national championship, he was the defense coordinator then. So, you know, he'd always tell me stories. And so I kind of had a behind-the-scenes view of it. So it was really neat for me to watch it from that standpoint. I'll tell you what, there were some real football players on the field that night. That's right. If there was a game of yours that you wanted to go back and watch, a game that you coached at Auburn, which would it be? Wow. Um, of course, I've been here a long time. It's been my 11th year at Auburn. We've, we've had some good ones. But, you know, I don't know. Um, it would have to be probably either, if you give me two, okay, uh, it'd be the 2010 uh, uh, Iron Bowl. When we had Cam and we were down 24 nothing. now that was that was probably my all-time favorite game, okay, to be a part of. And then, of course, the 2013 kick six. I mean, the kick six is the play that everybody remembers, but, God, there was some wild stuff that went back and forth that led up to that. I think it would have been a, a, a very uh, quality game, even if it hadn't have been the kick six. So I'd say probably those two games would, would come to mind. 
Yeah, I, I'm going to see if I can pull some strings. I don't have a lot of pull, but I'm going to see if I can get those replayed for you, maybe on SEC Network or ESPN somewhere. We, we need to see those again. Yeah, well, the, the night that Chrissy lets me pick, okay, I'm going to pick those games to watch. So just, just get ready. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love it, Coach. And thank you so much for joining us. And you guys be well. Uh, before I let you go, anything that you want to say to the Auburn fans out there just about how you're thinking about them right now? Yeah, just, uh, you know, just hoping everybody's safe and healthy. Uh, we're going to get through this. I just would encourage everybody to to really think positive. And then, you know, I know there's been a lot of time for, for everyone to reflect. And I just hope that when we get on the other side of this and things get back to normal, we'll be all better because of it, better people uh, and everything that goes with that. Awesome. Very well said. And we appreciate you so much. We'll talk soon. Okay. Happy Easter. Thank you. Happy Easter.